Hello everyone. Today we are solving the question of exercise 4.4. The first question, first part is factorize x square plus 5x plus 6. As we already know that we have to divide this into two factors so that the sum must be 5 and the multiplication must be 6. So here we can write it as x square plus 3x plus 2x plus 6. If we take x common in the first two terms, it becomes x plus 3. When we take plus 2 common in the last two terms, it becomes x plus 3. So the factors are x plus 3 and x plus 2. In the second part of the first question, here also we have to divide 8 into 2 factors so that the multiplication is 7 and the sum is 8. It means the two factors are 7 and 1. So minus 7 and minus 1 comes out to be minus 8 and if we multiply minus 7 by minus 1 it becomes plus 7 so it is plus 7. When we take common x it becomes x minus 7. Here we have to take common minus 1 because the factor in the bracket must be same. So x minus 1 and x minus 7 are the two factors on this. For the question number 2 part 1 again the sum must be 6 and the multiplication must be minus 7. When I am saying the multiplication must be minus 7 it must be 7x minus 1x. If we multiply 7 by minus 1 it becomes minus 7 and if we add these two terms plus 7 and minus 1 it is plus 6. So it is minus 7. When we take common, it is x as common. Here we can say x plus 7. In these two terms, when I take minus 1 common, it becomes x plus 7. So the two factors are x minus 1 and x plus 7. In the second part of the second question, it is y square plus 7y minus 18. Again, the same logic we have to apply. So this 7 we can break up into two factors, 9 and 2 where the sum is 7 and the multiplication is minus 18. So plus 9y and minus 2y. If we multiply 9 by minus 2, it becomes minus 18 and if we add 9 and minus 2, it becomes plus 7. So minus 18. In the first two terms, take y common, it becomes y plus 9. In the last two terms, take minus 2 common, it becomes y plus 9. So the two factors are y minus 2 and y plus 9. In question number 3, first part, again we have to divide. This question looks like to be the same as question number 2, second part. The only difference is instead of a positive sign with a 7, here it is a negative sign. It means we have to divide and we have to change these two numbers. Here if it is minus 9 and plus 2, then the multiplication will remain minus 18, but the sum will become minus 7. So it is y square minus 9y plus 2y minus 18. Again, in the first two term we take y common, it becomes y minus 9. In the last two term we take plus 2 common, it becomes y minus 9. So the two factors are y plus 2 and y minus 9. In the next question again, we have to divide 54 into two factors where the sum becomes 3, minus 3. So one of the factor is minus 9 and the another factor is plus 6. Minus 9 and plus 6, if we add them, it becomes minus 3 and the multiplication is minus 54. So it is a square. This part we are breaking into 2. Minus 9a plus 6a minus 54. In the first we take a common, it becomes a minus 9. In these two sections we can take 6 common, it is a minus 9. So the two factors are a plus 6 and a minus 9. This is the factorization of this question. In the next question, question number 4 part A, it is 2x square minus 7x plus 6. Important thing, till question number 3, the coefficient of the first term was 1, but here the coefficient is 2. Now, the multiplication should not be 6, it should be 6 multiplied by 2, that is 12. It means we have to select two numbers here where the multiplication will become 12 and the sum should become minus 7. 
So if we are dividing this, it is minus 4 and minus 3, the two factors where the sum will become minus 7 and the multiplication will become 12. So here we can write it as 2x square minus 4x minus 3x. This 7x we are breaking into two parts, minus 4x minus 3x plus 6. If we take 2x common in the first two terms, it is x minus 2. If I take minus 3 common in the last two terms, again it becomes x minus 2. So the two factors are 2x minus 3 and x minus 2. In question number 4, second part, again the multiplication should be minus 30. Because 6 multiplied by minus 5 is minus 13 and the sum should be 13. So if we take the two factors, it is plus 15 and minus 2. So that the sum becomes 13 and the multiplication becomes minus 13. So this can be written as 6x square plus 15x minus 2x minus 5. When we take 3x common in the first two terms, it becomes 2x plus 5. And if we take minus 1 common in the last two terms, again it is 2x plus 5. So the total factors become 3x minus 1 and 2x plus 5. So this way we can solve the first four questions and in the next class we will talk about the later questions. Thank you.